As leader of Linda Jamie, I'm deeply concerned that the person heading this, the country has no clue in economics. We have assumed for long he knows anything. But after addressing the media on the state of the economy, I have no, I have no doubt that he's completely clueless in the economy. Look at what the president said. The president said that he's only receiving 24 million shillings from KICC. First of all, it's a huge lie because we saw figures in the tune of 1.5 billion shillings from KICC. We have done investigation and we have internal information that KICC makes more than 1.5 billion shillings in terms of revenue. He's trying to say so because he wants to show us that KICC is so useless that it can be sold. So he's the one devaluing KICC. We also insist KICC cannot be valued in Kenya shillings, which has lost value. KICC must be valued in US dollars or in euros. But the most unfortunate bit is when I had the president thinking that KICC only operates as if the money from KICC in terms of profit is what is important. I think that is the biggest joke. He doesn't understand the economics of conferencing. Kenyatta International Convention Center was not set up to give government profit, but was set up to build the business community. Why am I trying to say so? The day we had African Climate Summit, for example, how many people landed at the airport? KQ made money by airplane flights in and outside JKIA. Kenya Airport Authority made money by giving landing rights in Kenya Airport Authority. Another thing, taxis. People made money. The Kenyan drivers who drive taxis made money. The people who sell tomatoes, onions, food, chicken, all those foods were being eaten by the people coming abroad. Yogurt, uh, milk, sugar, tea, water was drunk during the conference. People were able to give services to KICC. Guess who came? That was a lot of money. The hotels were supposed to be fully booked, if you look at it. The hotels around Nairobi were fully booked, so they made money. The farmers who farm produces that were selling to hotels that were making food made money. So an, an, an amphitheater like KICC should be able to bring an economic multiply effect to the people, not using it to calculate the net income from the very facility. And I've done my research. A Kigali Convention Center does not make money for the government, but it brings a lot of money to the country. If you go to the one in New York, the same. Go to London, the same. So if the president do not understand how care ECC works, can he understand how Kenyan economy works? You know, people cannot run a simple conference place like KICC. Can they run government? And that's why, again, my main point. Because we are people who are clueless, and the president is trying to run the government using bottom-up economic model. And I've said it before. Bottom-up economic model is a scam. Why is it a scam? Every theory in economics must be published by a scholar. Who is the scholar behind bottom-up? And which book has published it? If you show me a book, I'll show you that Pythagoras' theorem was done by Pythagoras. Now, this one called bottom-up was done by who? So it's a scam they used to come to government. Let them organize a national confession that they like to ask to get into office, but now we are ready to work with them. Even God says, if you confess your sins, I'll heal your land. God will heal Kenya if we start saying the truth. But we cannot leave a lie. A lie is bottom-up economic model. And I want to tell Professor Njungun Andungu, you are an economist. You know bottom-up is not working. That's why Joe Biden has problems in the U.S. Now by, uh, uh, Trump is becoming more popular than him because of the nonsense called bottom-up. It has never worked anywhere. Kenya is not a guinea pig. Stop putting us in that economic crisis. And that's why Kenyans will come to all the town halls and ask you to leave that office so that someone who is sound can take over and run that office. We've heard the president has made 47 foreign trips to look for two things. One, he's saying he's looking for jobs for young people. And secondly, he's saying he's looking for foreign direct investment to bring dollars to the country. Let me tell you one thing. The first thing is that one year, like now this 2023 ending, has 52, 52 weeks. If someone is traveling 47 times and one year has 52 weeks, 
This guy is simply not in the country. So we have an absentee president. The president is absent. They used to be in primary school. So and so, Uko, absent. So and so, absent. So President Ruto is absent in Kenya. He only knows his plane and he knows the foreign areas. Secondly, foreign, foreign trips should bring for us foreign direct investment so that dollars can come to the country, so that the dollar shortage can go down, so that Kenya shillings can actually appreciate. Because that's not happening, those foreign trips are meant for his own personal deals. I have internal information. He goes abroad to make personal deals. Because if the deals are working so well for him, and the economy is doing so badly, he does not care. He has said it and I've heard that Kenyans only like money. He will come and buy you the money he's making. So he's making those deals to make money for himself. Now he will come and buy Kenyans with money. Kenyans, let us be clever. Take the money, eat, but let someone who will take care of you. And the other thing about foreign jobs, let me tell you what Kenyans, if a president cannot create jobs in his home country, how can you create jobs outside your country? Yani, yani njoga hizi kuwika kwao, anataka kuwika inje, utawika inje na mnagani. Now, in fact, let me tell you what, you heard that there are over 250,000 jobs in Germany. Kenya, let's be honest. Do you know that for you to be given a visa to German, you must speak German? And for you to speak German, you must go to a school to learn German. And how much does it cost to learn German? How many Kenyans can afford to learn German? Secondly, to get a pass, a visa to go to Germany, your balance, your bank account must have at least 750,000 shillings balance. Ha, tell me how many Kenyans have 750,000 shillings in their bank account. There's, is there any uh, embassy that can give you a visa when you have nothing in your bank account? For us, we only have Empresa statements and Foliza statements and Hustler statements. Hustler statements and Foliza statements cannot give you a visa. This is a joke of the century. This person is a liar and is a scammer and is misleading and does not care about Kenyans. Because how many Kenyans have flown to Germany? How many of them have gone to Korea, have gone to Saudi Arabia? Numbers, we believe in numbers, tell us which ones. Even the jobs is talking about creating 120,000 jobs. Where are they? I went to Mkuru Kwanjenga, I found people very hungry. They cannot even eat lunch. Even the mamambogas and the ones selling for him things, even the guys in, in, in the construction site cannot even afford to buy myende for lunch. I love an assembly, I may create jobs. Kenyans are eating lemon. Kenyans are eating dust. And he's saying he's creating jobs. Which jobs are these? And you, do you know in your family, do you know in your area, who has gotten job from the house, from the house project? You do you know, me, I don't know. Since I was born, I've been hearing people asking, Professor, help me with a job. Who is that who has been given a job that you know is your neighbor, your relative, your friend, your colleague? Me, I don't know. If you know, tell me, Kenya. Ask yourself, if you don't know anyone who has got a job in the construction site, then is it President's family that is getting those jobs or who is getting the jobs? So all those are scams.